Wasn't that fairly recent, the Eurovision Song Contest? Today's first semi-final! <gasps> it's starting today! I wonder who's singing for Australia? Maybe I should... Should I... You know what? I feel like it might not even be so crazy... Uh, such a crazy, impossible thing... To have me... As a participant for Australia... Because... Uh... I feel like they might even do that because Eurovision Song Contest is crazy like that. There was like a pretty otakuish girl for Germany once. I don't know her name, I don't remember it at all, but she was like all dressed up in like cute Harajuku fashion, I think. Um, but imagine, just imagine, maybe next year? Maybe by then I have a 3D uh, model, maybe? Just see the vision. Do you see the vision? Do you see the Kiara vision? Maybe next year I have a 3D model and I can participate? Oh, I, I, I think they would do that because... First, I feel like they're probably struggling to find good singers from Australia every year anyway. We don't have many artists, like singers and groups and all, all that. Manager Sound, are you listening? <laughs> Let's try it out for next year, come on. Come on, let me sing Hinotori! Which will be funny because... There was once... An Australian contestant that won... That year... And she sang... Rise like a phoenix! All of the ashes... Da 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 And that would be so funny because my song is about a phoenix as well. <laughs> Yeah, Conchita Wurst was an uh, Australian contestant and she won previously. One of the few Australians that ever won the Eurovision Song Contest. <laughs> and she sang about a phoenix. Now, I don't think I would necessarily win. But who knows? You don't necessarily win the Eurovision Song Contest by being the best singer. <laughs> uh, I feel the com uh, performance has a lot to do with it. You know what? That was such a random idea, but I'm gonna take this seriously. <laughs> Next year, Eurovision Song Contest! Let's fucking go, guys! <laughs> oh my god. I see it. I see it. I feel it. We can do it. That would be legendary. That would be fucking history. And Eurovision Song Contest is like the type of program show that, I, that is crazy enough to do stuff like that. <laughs> Loki really wanna <laughs> make that come true. <laughs> I've been thinking about it for a while now. <laughs> but we'll, we'll see about it. <laughs> we'll see about it. I feel like generally your vision is so crazy, they would go for it. <laughs> Just like I wouldn't even be surprised. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I wanna make fucking history. <laughs> Kiana vision. <gasps> My vision, yeah. Ah, uh, your vision, damn it. It's already so late. It's already almost December. I feel like. <sighs> uh, I feel like I should have. If I were to participate, I would have taken care of that earlier. It was an idea that I had. Hmm. Ah, but I did wanna... If I were to participate in that... I think I would need my 3D. And, uh... Who knows when 3D is gonna come out... Now that it's looking a little bit more difficult again... In Japan. Uh... uh huh, it would be so dope, it would be legendary. I'm gonna look into it one more time... And check when... When it's actually happening again. Mm, I wanna... Represent Austria in Eurovision contest. <laughs> Song contest. <laughs> it's a huge event in Europe. Every year, people go crazy about it. And the people who perform there, they usually very, very hmm, original. And they, they, there's always some weird ones that stand out. Usually May June. Then I think it's still not too late. In theory, it depends on the country because depending on the country, they choose the participants in different ways. And it could be that Austria already has someone they want to send out, but in general, I feel like Austria just... Probably doesn't have much good choice. <laughs> and, you know, my thought was that... A VTuber... 
would stand out so well. And usually the ones that stand out in Eurovision... Usually... Usually win. But even if I wouldn't win, I don't care. It would just be so funny to bring whole life into the Eurovision Song Contest. <laughs> It would just be so funny. Yeah. <laughs> so my goal isn't really even to win, but more just to like bring up the VTubing culture into that and just make a legendary entrance. <laughs> Something like the Eurovision Song Contest would have worked wonders, but that's not happening. Because no 3D yet and uh, the applications by now are... Uh, it's I, I've read up and it's already been decided to... It seems like it's been... It's a choice between two people or so by now, I think, for Austria. The uh, participant for Austria. Maybe next year. I can try. I mean, we do... The thing is, as you guys know, we do have the 3D already, but... I feel like as long as I don't have an official debut where I can show you guys properly... I don't want to spoil it like that. I also will never know when when I'll be able to show it off to you guys. So I can't just already like throw it out there. Of your vision. Have you seen your 3D model? Of course, of course, of course I have. It's cute. This concert and expo was already known that it was happening. We are um, performing at the concert. We're not just like, I don't know, an announcement voice or whatever. A lot of people have been asking about our appearance at the fest. We will be performing in 3D. They figured out how to make it happen and everybody will be performing live in 3D. It will be our very first 3D appearance ever. Singing and dancing. We are skipping the debut to do it. After that happens, it's like the doors to 3D for all of us are open. Eurovision right now. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, maybe we'll try to enter next year. <laughs> For Austria! Let's go! Make some more world worlds collide. I have a dream. Let's fucking go! 